the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me, he worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit, he did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Hi everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. You've caught us in the middle of one of Joel's uh, life simulation exercises. Joel's pretending to be a dairy farmer from southern Wisconsin. Help us! Whoa, whoa, what happened to you? Well anyway, hi there folks. You know, I'd been having trouble with velvet leaf, uh, cutworm, and uh, foxtail, and well, that's when the representative from Monsanto came out to my farm. He recommended a pre-emergent Inferal mixture of Lors band with atrazine in a tank mix, and I told him to get off my land. Here, chicken, chicken. Have your choice done by commercial schedule, which is in 15 seconds. Yes, sir. Oh, yep. Real life simulation? Call this Come what on. you may. The fact is, Joel's dressing up robots as farm animals. Come on, it's milking time. Commercial Come on. Sign. Four, three, two. Come on. Commercial sign on. Yep, just as I thought. These hens just aren't producing. I'm going to have to spray y'all with insecticide. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah, it really works. You can cut off a chicken's head and it'll still run all over the place. Another fun thing to do on the farm is cow tipping. Gee, there's a lot of time to kill on a farm, isn't there? Yeah. yeah would you mind reuniting my head with my body, please, Joel Bob? Who said that? Old Joel Robinson had a farm? E-I-E, -E, I don't think so. Well, never before has the term booby been more appropriate. Why don't you tell him about the invention exchange, Frank? Well, when you're an on-the-go kind of a guy like myself, sometimes you need eardrops, sometimes you need eye drops, sometimes you need nose drops, sometimes you need throat drops. Sometimes when you touch, the honesty is too much. I want oh, to hold you till I cry. Oh, shut up, Frank. Cry. Look, carrying all those medications around, granted, is an inconvenience. That's why I say, combine them. That's why we invented the Orbital Auto Rhino Laryngological Dropper. Very conveniently combines all the ear, nose, and throat medications you need into a convenient package. What do you think, farm boy? Well, this is perfect because after your invention makes people feel better, they can enjoy their good health by going to the park and enjoying this new invention. It's called the musical chair. Cool. Nice. You get it? Okay. Yeah. Ah. Scrappy. Yeah, what better way to sit in with your favorite musicians? Is <laughs> sit in with the, because it's a chair. And, uh, what do you think, to... sirs? Uh, I thought it had no texture. Say, what's the ladder for? Well, Frank, we've got a very special guest today to tell Joel and the bots about today's experiment. It's someone we all know and love. I think you're going to be excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jack Perkins. Jack Perkins, wow! Hello. Today's experiment is called Fugitive Alien, a wonderful film from Japan, not to be confused with The Fugitive, the classic television series which can be seen weekdays right here on A&E. This is actually a strung together series of Japanese shows which when put together in this way make for what I think is some of the best TV has to offer. 
Thanks, Jack. Now then we... Joyce Carol Oates will be out to read from her wondrous new work of fiction, her first novel in well over a month. Then Peter, Paul, and Mary will be out to give us a wondrous rendition from one of their songs off their scintillating new album. Then Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy will be out to tell us some poignant stories of the joys and sorrows of being really, really horribly old. And then Topol will be out. Oh, we got movie side! Who's Jack Perkins? <laughs> Okay, that's good, you guys. That's fun. Hey, it's the name of the rose. No, hey. it's a smiling face gone horribly awry. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Sandy Frank presents her own personal hell. Indeed. Who is that guy? Koyanis <sighs> Gotsi. Cool. This is just like episode 38 of Star Trek, the first season, but it doesn't have that no, same no, kind no, of No, 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 no. It's like thing. the star rated that the Daleks had in the in the fifth generation of the Doctor and the Doctor Who when they had the three Doctors together and they had the one no, that looked like Moe. Klingon. Okay. No, it's... Starring David Jensen of Mars searching for the one-armed alien. Ooh. Oh, traffic on the outbound orbital plane is heavy little Grange, too. Folks want to might try taking an altar on the Grange this morning. Hey, quit passing on the right. That's not fair. Mm. Take a yama and shove it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Cool, so. Ah! Ah! Don't do that. Originally produced for the stage by the Royal Shakespeare Company. Mm. Watch out for that. Well, just park it anywhere, boys. Oh, oh, just... <laughs> oh. The Raiders. Hey. oh no! Raid! Oh. oh, this is super cool. Like that first episode of Battlestar Galactica when no, they had no, to leave no, the planet and James like Seymour got shot in the back. It's like invasion Earth and uh, maybe like solar babies when the, the, the spaceships come in and... Uh-uh. Mm. Madam Raiders. Butterfly? Attack. Uh, we've started already, sir. <laughs> Banana peel! Mm. Come on to the shelter! Run! Run! Oh, I'll catch up! <sighs> Destroy the Earth and its inhabitants. It's Heck Razor! Ooh. Hey, it's a Rolling Stones hotel room. Oh, I kind of think it looks like Morton Thigh in the early days. <laughs> Why do they need so many writers? Oh, they needed one guy for the verbs, one guy for the nouns, somebody for the adjectives, you know, adverbs, gerunds. Whoa! Ooh! Oh, it looks like the floor of the Tokyo Stock Exchange on Black Monday, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, they've broken into Carol Channing's house. Jim Carter! In color. <laughs> wiggly poo, do the wiggly poo. Uh, I've been killed by an action figure. Well, run, more credits, run! <laughs> hey, no cutting in line. Jim <laughs> Cutter. Jim ah. Cutter. You're not half You're bad. All right, Ken. Honestly, I've never seen anyone so strong. Certainly not a redhead. <laughs> I'm twice as strong back home. Not in Valna Star. Hey, you don't oh, shower. Did you hear that, Ken? <laughs> I'll check it out. Oh, how humiliating. Earth taken over by Judy Garland impersonator. Ooh, Ooh spring break pool jumping, dude. Ooh, Ooh, kick, man. You're not going to make it. a pool. Bless you. Heal. Or not. Oh, it's an intriguing mix of genocide and modern dance. Ooh. Hey, you're starting to sound like Jack Perkins, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Can't. There's one. When Josie and the Pussycats go bad. Huh? All right. Oh, there you go. You're dead! Uh, 
got? Gang, well, you have split ends. <laughs> Ken, little boys with guns grow up to be big enemies. Ooh. Better kill him while he's still young. Well. Hey, do you want to play? Hmm? Hey, is everybody named Ken? Oh, what kids? Ken. Planet of the Kens? Ken. Or what? Planet where Ken's Oh, what a perfect apocalyptic Ken. jumpsuit she's wearing. Ken. Huh? Hmm. Wait a Pink hearts, blue moons, green Japanese boys. <laughs> what, is this Don Kirshner's rock concert all of a sudden? Ken! Yeah. These obsession ads are weird. Between Ken and Ken lies obsession. Shoot Ken! Kill them both! Which Ken? The closer Ken gets, the better Ken looks. Ken! What are you waiting for? Uh oh, buck fever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Only Ken's Ken dresser knows for sure. Ken 2, help Ken 1! They have such a glow about mm -hmm. them. His mama is a saint. If I have one life to live, let me live it as a Ken. Don't shoot! Hmm? Don't shoot! Don't, don't shoot! shoot! I don't kill women and children. It's them back and let me do it. Shit, no. You're a disgrace to all Kens. Was that you? Ken? Hmm? Ken? Why? I love you, Ken. You betrayed us. Ah, uh, the name's Ken. Call me Ken. You won't get away with it, Ken! Run, Ken, run! Ken, kill Ken! Get him! He killed one of his own men! I didn't mean to! It was an accident! Ken 33, go left. Ken 16 and 18, flank him. Ken 7, go around the back. Ken 4, I mean, 10 go, 4. Go. <laughs> there he goes! There! He's a traitor! Don't let him get away! Just like that episode where it was like the, the Nazi world on Star Trek. No, they, no, no. It's like Doctor Who and Tom Baker was a doctor. I think he was the fifth doctor, and he was trying to save Neela from the Clyde Masters. That's no, because nice. I saw it at a, a no, no, no. I saw, I saw it in the, in the Who Festival. They had 12 hours. He hurt his little pants. Ooh. After him. He's been hit. In the pants. Little pants. You have betrayed us. You will never set eyes on Valnistar again. Oh, I flipped and I didn't even have to. I just love to do it, just for fun. What? Hmm? It smells like my wig in here. I'll get home somehow. Do you want to go faster? You will not reach home. All traitors die. Don't smoke. <laughs> well, you gotta get that steering column fixed. I'll get there if it's the last thing I do. Probably will be. <laughs> Hey, boo boo, it's the Rangers. So they think they can blow me out of the sky? Yep. <laughs> this lever is stuck. Yeah, so is the lever. <laughs> lever What's wrong? I can't get it under control. I'm a crappy special effect. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to die in the thong section of Victoria's Secret. Mm, cool. Pull up! Pull up! Oh boy. No, he's in more trouble than Hudson Hawk at the box office. <laughs> huh? That's an alien sound. Say. An enemy signal. Or a garbage truck backing up. Yeah, could be. They think they can kill me so easily. Well, they're in for a little surprise. I'm a ranger, too. I'm a star, boy. Of course you are, Ken. Just keep saying that to yourself. Monks, Monks in, in space! space! It's my only chance. I'm gonna have to bail out. 
Wait a minute. Oh, is that Ken? It's not Ken, it's Ken. Oh, you You're mean Ken? You're him with Ken. Oh, I was thinking of Ken. No, Ken. Ken. Oh, I thought it was Ken all along. Now, uh, let's see. AAA roadmap, flashlight, Mars bar. No, I'm set. I know some people will do anything to get to Mass on Holy Thursday, I gotta tell you. <laughs> hey, he shouldn't have had those baked beans. <laughs> it's too easy. Is that him or the... I told you to watch the speed bumps. What do you suppose that was? It sounded like Ken. Ken. What's happening here? Hmm? Easy, Tammy. Uh-huh. That was no meteor, right? That was my wife. <laughs> <laughs> the big room. <laughs> Turn on the radiation deflector. That yes, trick sir. never deflector. works. Operating, sir. That explosion sends out powerful magnetic fields. And so do I. spacecraft if we're not careful. So stay on the alert. Yes, yes sir. sir. Bless all the Kens everywhere. This is a Sneed, magnified a hundred times. <laughs> do you smell aliens? Looks like we're out of danger now. Uh-huh. Captain! What's that out there? It's a Zenith Chromacolor, and it can be all yours if you pick that what's behind like door man, number one. Space. You're right. It's a man with little pants. It's Frank Poole. You must have bailed out of that chip before it exploded. Looks like you're still breathing. Good eye. Rocky? Mm. Yes, sir? We're going to rescue him. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why don't we just leave well enough alone? Don't say that. He isn't even wearing a spacesuit. Oh. No way he could have survived out there. He could have. Dan, what is our mission if not to save lives? You know, she's uh, right. Oh. Okay. Let's go for it, Rocky. Rocky. Yes, sir. Whoa. Take your foot off the clutch. <laughs> That's not the wolf attacker. Who could it be? Oh, I remember this. This is just like in Maroon when David Jansen goes to save Gene Hackman and James Franciscus in the derelict spaceship before the so the, the, the Soviet... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the Soviet satellite shit. comes up and... It is, I've had it. Space mimes in color. Da -da -da -da. Got monkey bars. <laughs> Dr. Levinson, I presume. <laughs> Give me a hug, you big galoot. He's alive, all right. I got dibs. I don't get it. Uh, Nobody could have survived that explosion. Hey, right. Any normal human being would have been blown to bits. Ooh. He's coming to terms with himself. <laughs> oh my God! I've been captured by Wayne Newton. Dog of shame. Hello, friends. Ow. Welcome to the Earth's oldest spaceship. Bacchus 3. Model A. My name is Joe. Hello, Joe. What crew. do you know? Just got back from Kokomo. How did you ever survive <laughs> that crash? Watch it, Ken. This might be a trap. Hmm? You sure took your chances out there without a spacesuit. Or did your spacesuit explode as well? <laughs> <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> I just don't get it. Can't a guy get a cup of coffee around Listen, here? I'll answer that, sir. This is Bacchus 3. Over. This is space control. Hmm? The wolf raiders from Balna Star have been attacking the Earth. Oh, that's a strong reaction. Seems a little defensive to me, doesn't it? Cut it out, you guys! Cut it out! Monkey shines. Can't afford to lose control. Yeah, well, what do you call that, then? <laughs> Oh, you can see the zipper. Yeah. I thought so. My best flatware. Oh, I've got a couple of questions. You like Peter Allen? Who are you? And what's yeah. the capital of South Dakota? And why did you react that way when you heard the word wolf, huh? Hmm? And where did you get all your strength? You'd better tell us the truth, fella. Come on. Come on! I'm an astronomer. I was doing scientific work. Huh? You're hurting me. Let go. Oh, oh. I heard about the Wolf Raiders on my radio. Mm -hmm. That's why I reacted. I, and I, telling us the I truth, also sir. believe in fairies. I don't mm. want to get killed. Captain, UFOs on our radar screen. I'm what? busy, can't you see? Check it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Right. Right. <sighs> nice cufflinks. Sierra Cardone. Hmm. Say. 
Now I'm gonna spank you, big time. I don't want you to move from this spot. Unless, of course, you feel like leaving this ship and floating in space. You can get up now. Well, this is comfortable, but jeepers. Hmm? Hey, look, that truck's headed to Utah. You keep your eyes on the screen. Yes, sir. All instruments operational? Yes, sir. And how? We're approaching route MMS 600, sir. And my heart is racing. <laughs> look how fast they're going. Who can generate that kind of velocity? Wolf Raiders. I can. For sure. <laughs> you sir, smell I that. don't think we're any match for them. Got my nose. Look at that. <laughs> Change course. You can't take them on in this beat up old crate. Change course. Someone put a gag in his mouth. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let me, let me, please. He's talking sense for once. They have greater firing power. But the ship is much too old to take on superior forces like wolf raiders. It's too late to turn around now. I think they've spotted our position. They're Batman. Are they listening to ELO? Uh, it's a fleet of drapery hooks. Huh? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? This is it. Let's go. Hey, I got an idea. Let's get that box of hats out of the back. Girl. Oh, I know where that is. I get it. Yeah. Pops. What are you two yard monkeys doing now? Uh, well, uh, seeing the uh, stupid Wolf Raider hair helmets in the experiment reminded me of all this stuff from the last hat party we had. Hey, put that one on. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want I'd feel silly. Uh, I remember that one. That one was the grandest of all. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought we could take some of these and have fun with them and maybe make up even more stupider hats, you know, for the next party. Oh, say, put that one on me. I got an idea here. Okay. Now, you see, this is a helmet for astronauts who are losing their hair. You see, with the balding <laughs> coming and over. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm into it now. Look at this one. Okay, this ah. goes back to 1981. I'm a punk from space, get it? Ooh. I am a anarchist. Get it? Oh, that's cool. Hey, this big one over here, put this one on okay. me, Joe. No, I got, I got it, I got it. This is what Patty LaBelle would look like on the space shuttle. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's cool. Oh, oh, try wow. the other one there. Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, way down oh, there. Oh, huh? oh, oh, watch the hand. Sorry, yeah. Oh, oh sorry. wow, look at it. It's the Ted Koppel satellite of hair. Or, or, hey. or, or you can, you can pull down that curl in front, and it would look just like Frank's hair helmet. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> oh, I think those things are wonderful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Push the button, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor F, you better come have a look at this. Joel and the bots are making fun of my hair. My hair! Now, Frank, let them have their little fun. The experiment's not quite over, and they'll soon live to regret it. <laughs> no, oh, rich. Oh, wait, hey, guys, look at this one, hey. Huh? Ah, no. Oh, uh, this one looks like Dr. Forrester if his head got sucked into the vacuum of space through a keyhole. No. <laughs> Now you cut that out. Remember what I said about hat parties. You get your little hinders back into that theater and, and you watch the film. I'm not amused by your antics in the least. I thought it was a sheer delight. I think that's about as grand as a hat party can get. <laughs> ah, that was about as painful as a cattle prod to the shoulder could get. Ah. Send them commercial, Frank. I'll send them commercial sign. But later on in the program, Linda Ellerby will be out. I hate to say it, but Jack Perkins had that coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, poor guy. That party never ended like that before. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I wish someone would turn off the courageous cat music. Chili peppers burn my gut. Chin rascal. More like face rascal. Space speed. Ed Von Munch, I presume. <laughs> Look at that. 
give him a face massage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can't fight him, but we can confuse the heck out of him. <laughs> Fries are up. Yep. Whoa, whoa, that was us. Jeepers. Somebody hang up the phone! Huh. Well, watch out for that. <laughs> well, never mind. Up. Cease fire. Backers three. You haven't seen the last of me. Jim Backers? <laughs> no, uh, cookies are done, sir. <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. Great music. Looks like we made it. Left each other all the way to another. That's been knocking out my officer. Look alive, you guys. There's work to do. Alive, sir. I'm sorry, honey. Are you okay? Rocky, are you okay? Uh, yo, Say something. Adrian. Uh, cut me, cut me. Get... We did it. We got away from them. I did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? All I know is he's ten times as strong as we are. And I love him. And he got us through the Wolf Raiders. Single he's a snappy dresser and a good friend. Hey, Bookmobile, summer reading program. Third planet from the sun will be known as Earth. Pretty Wonder. much. Oh no, we'll have to circle LaGuardia for an hour, I'm betting. <laughs> yeah, I can see the Great Wall. It's okay. They're going to the Dells. Uh, Jimmy left his Legos in the driveway again. Mm. <laughs> That kid. Boy, well, I tell ya, that chip is burping out a lot of chlorofluorocarbons there, yeah. punching a hole in the ozone. <coughs> the bank will be closing in five minutes. Here is the latest report on the attack of the Valna Raiders. Due to heavy damage, aerospace port number six has been closed to all traffic until further notice. Okay. That's off port. What will we do? I just talked to headquarters. They said all streets leading to the base have been destroyed. <laughs> Check that out. Check yes, her sir. out. Hey. Attention, please. Take charge of the yes, prisoner. Coming flights are kindly requested to proceed immediately to space command That's the prisoner? headquarters for debriefing. That's we repeat, yeah. well, senior yeah. officers of all incoming flights proceed at yeah. once to space command headquarters. Watch the steno pool go wild for his vinyl. <laughs> Excuse me, how can sir? I contact Spaceport 6? Right up there, sir. Thank you. I just want to check out my uh, car loan here. Get out of my way. All function. Huh? Noah's Ark? Not the no. Hey, and there's Moses' Jeep. <laughs> Did he tell you how he got that wound? I gave it to him. He refused to answer any of our questions. He started shouting and acting crazy. So I gave him a tranquilizer to quiet him. Is he likely to get violent? He's mm, highly unpredictable. Much. Please maintain him here under heavy guard. Thanks for the warning. Bye. Bye now. Come on. Everybody's doing their banking in this movie. Must Looks be. like Ken's driving the Malibu Barbie Beach Jeep. Cool. I just have to get out some money for the weekend. Oh, dang, they're closed. Boy, I would love to be a banker. So, uh, dinner Thursday? Great. Good. Excuse me. Way. Yep. Yep. Hi, say, dinner Friday? Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, hi, uh, dinner uh, Sunday? Can we do it? Oh, you're free. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elvis. Thank you, thank you very much. Huh? The audience has left the arena. <laughs> what the? Oh? Oh? Ooh, baby doll mm -hmm. and ballet slippers. <laughs> huh? The geometric nucleus. And a chew toy. 
Well, I'll just uh, rifle the dead stuff here. <laughs> so, dinner Sunday. Don't. Oh. 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 What a calf. Marianne, Ginger, Skipper, Bobby, Professor. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, the, uh, oh. Whopper. Did he say Whopper? Sounded like Whopper. Is you got a Whopper? Oh, darling. Darling, where's Marianne? A uh, dog at dead. Where is she? Uh, dusting downstairs. Where is she? <laughs> Marianne's resting in peace. Pieces. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried something had happened to her in that terrible attack. Yeah, whatever. I couldn't find her anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I passed out. Mm -hmm. Woke up here. What'd you say? Boy, what a view. You got a great We're room all here. We're together again. Mm -hmm. <gasps> hmm? Well, that does take the pressure off. Yeah. Hey, Ken's got a problem. <laughs> Ken wasn't careful. <laughs> Ken's going to get candy. Hmm? Oh, no, you don't, sir. You have a... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Physician, heal thyself. <laughs> I know just what to do. I'll sneak out of here disguised as Chad Everett. That always works. Hey. Hey, McGarrett's up here. Ooh, tough skins in Husky, slim and regular. Ken's out cross-training. Just do it. <laughs> Ken was safe for the moment, but where could he go? What, what could, could he do? do? An outcast on his own planet. A fugitive alien on Earth. Yep. He would have to That's make a title, fresh start somewhere. In the robot holocaust. But where? And how could he get there? And what of Bob's love for Chad? Oh, uh, sorry, that was me. Excuse me. A spacecraft. Duh. I'll have to hijack one. Oh, <laughs> better. Great. Not in those slacks. Now, now, I cue myself, jump back, and hop. Jumping, running, and spinning. Follow me. Oh, I'm only me. Careful. This is good for the glutes. I wish, I wish you got him on it. The burn! The burn! Hmm? He's at a ski lodge now. What it gives? Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me where I can hijack a spaceship? Anybody? Uh, okay, never mind. Anybody? Uh, spaceship? Need to hijack a spaceship? Yeah. Hey! Nobody around. But how do I get aboard? Go through the lumber yard. That's how you get a board. <laughs> get us the lumber. Hmm? Huh? Hello, stranger. Hi, sailor. Did you just drop by for coffee, or were you planning to stay on for the cocktail hour? <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'll have that cocktail now. Well, friend, you're not a very gracious guest. I brought it's crackers. It's very courteous to point a gun it's at It's not your courteous host. to point your finger, you shouldn't have run away from that nice, clean infirmary. How about James infirmary. giving me the gun? That's enough. Hmm? Turn around and face the wall. Whoa. Go on. <laughs> Don't you think it'd be a good idea to check if it's loaded? What? Huh? 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 Oh. Routine 35. What a works every time. What a the stupidest thing I ever did was to save the life of a Val Narrator. You people have no respect for life. You'd even kill your own families if it brought you some advantage. The world will never be safe with people like you around. Let's kiss. Look. You'd even destroy the universe. Barbarian. The minute I saw you, I knew you were one of those savage bound the wolves. But I you love died. you. You know something? That was my last flight. I wanted to devote the rest of my life to my wife and kid. My wife just died in my arms. I thought it was hey, a you were way over by the window. Yeah. Honestly. Where is the pride in killing defenseless women and children? You call that heroism? I call it fun. Don't you have any hobbies? When we saved you, 
little swatch of cloth got torn off your uniform. Ooh. I found one exactly like it. Next to the body of my little daughter. Uh -oh. Uh oh. So, what have you got to say? Um, oops. Oh, oh, sorry? I'm listening. <laughs> no one can beat me at snap zooms. I, I was in time of the apes. There's no point trying to hide it. I was on a mission. But I killed one of my comrades in an accident. I ran away. Now the other wolves are hunting the traitor. You're lying through your teeth. Don't you expect me to buy that? It's the truth. Yeah. I swear it. Now listen to the rest of the story. Page two. We attacked Earth. Roach my food. buddy ordered me to kill a child. They never explained the blonde wigs. I don't get that. I, I couldn't. And it was then that he turned his rifle on the child. Then blah, 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 blah. I saw him raise his gun to fire. Blah. I just wanted to get him to put the rifle down. <laughs> Suddenly, I looked down and saw that glassy look in his eyes. That sly come hither stare. I'd forgotten how strong I was. Kenya did the right thing. Now, turn off the World chance. Man. You know I never keep any bullets in my gun. Hmm? Oh, like Barney Fife. Well, killing anyone is too horrible. I didn't feel that way when I was about your age. I was like you, wild and reckless. Well, that's me to a T. Up till today, you killed for kicks. Hey, like the wild rebels. Hmm. You were just like I used to be. A thrill killer. I wasn't. I was a soldier carrying out orders. There's no dishonor in that. What is dishonor then? Killing for a corrupt power? Punky cheese. Oh, oh. conscience. <laughs> you betrayed us. You, you traitor. See, that's why you're a scummy traitor. Cigar? Why, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I've been thinking things yeah. over. No point in retiring. Now, with no wife or family to go home to. You'll do fine. No. I'm going to need some new men in the crew. Slim hipped and willowy. Pink lips. Young fellow who's become a fugitive, who's being hunted all over the universe. What could that be? Could do a lot worse than throwing in his lot with the crew of Bacchus Three. Hmm. We might even get to be friends. He asked me, he asked me. I don't understand. What have I done to deserve this? We don't deserve half the things we get. <laughs> You're stuck here. Listen. Mood swings, boy. You're exactly what I tell you. And you have a good chance of turning into a man, not just a wolf raider. And don't you ever forget. I know exactly who you are and where you came from. Oh. One false move, and I'll set you adrift to fend for yourself. Captain! Now, let's have some fun. Now then, Captain! whether you like it or not, she's yours. Looks have like fun. you just signed on. Welcome to Herbalife. Captain Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think I'll like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Idiot. Let's Captain. go skiing, gang. Everything's fine. In the land of Dairy Queen, we treat you right. While oh. Ken was being welcomed aboard Bacchus III and starting his life as an Earthling, back on Valnastar, Ken's former home, the Wolf Raiders were returning from their unsuccessful Back's mission story. to conquer Earth. Oh. Their leader, the notorious yeah. Lord Halcon, was determined to punish Ken mercilessly for his supposed betrayal. Meanwhile, I went to more voiceover auditions. Hey, speak okay. of punishing mercilessly. Whoa. Whoa. I'm wearing a bib because I just ate. Tragedy tomorrow, Kabuki tonight. I take it you have already heard that your brother has lost his life. Yes. He was killed by Ken. Ken did Those it. bastards! Why, that can't be true. I know it must seem impossible. You loved each other, I'm and sure. he was your brother's friend. I trusted him too. How sad it is to put your trust in a traitor. Hmm. And that's not the worst part. He killed your brother in an attempt to defend an Earthling. Oops. No, I'll never get my records back. Then he escaped into the unknown in a stolen spaceship. That'll happen. He's a coward and a traitor. He has disgraced us all. I forbid you to see he has him. He's forfeited the right to live. Must he die? Yes, and you must be his executioner. 
It is an old Balna lore that murders must be avenged by the victims next of kin. Um, not that I don't trust you, a wise one, but can I see the book on that rule? It's a... Rat Patrol in color. Man, it looks like they were shooting this out of the windshield of a Vista Cruiser station wagon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tempted love. Remember, Rita, Ken must die by your hand. You are not to return here without his head. Without his head. Oh, I gotta lay off the shrooms. Lay off the shrooms. Ken. Did someone say Ken? Ken, you will pay dearly for what you did. I know, Mama. Boy, oh. Oh. Hmm? oh, that was easy. I can go home. Oh, damn, I was supposed to bring back his head. Dad! Where aren't you? Is she going to meet a ride out there or something? I don't know. I'm supposed to walk to the river. I know you've heard of the star Carrero. It's in the center of the seven constellations. Inhabited by a strong and independent nation. The Cherokee Nation. Hmm. We have been allied with Carrero for centuries, and now they are threatened. Their mortal enemies have developed a super weapon. Super weapon? Well, a uh, really good one anyway. We have all the details, but we have an intelligence report. Apparently, this weapon can destroy a whole continent. If we do nothing to prevent it, then I'm afraid Carraro is doomed to extinction. Mm. And that is the reason that they got in touch with us. Now we're alone. After giving it careful consideration, I've decided that you are the only man capable of doing the job. So we're going to get you a new dicky. But they've always handled their own defenses. This time, they've got more than one enemy. The pool table. It looks like the Valna Raiders are going to attack. Valna Star is one of the strongest forces of evil in our universe. See what I tell you. It's cool anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just playing a video game in my head. I understand. There's no way that they can handle this alone. Yes, the Kararans are a valiant people, but they are no match for the Valna <laughs> readers. What, what? You're talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking of the eighth hole of Tory Pines. <laughs> sorry about that. Let's cut the crap. I love Very you. Well. I accept the mission. Okay. Good. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't disappoint us. Yuck. I yeah, always look forward kind. to the crew check, especially with such a fine crew as the one on the back is three. I love it. That's Rocky. The flying squirrel. The best space pilot in the business. And a good friend. You remember Dan, my navigator? Indeed I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this little oh. darling is your morale officer, no doubt. <laughs> oh. Negative, sir. Lieutenant <laughs> Tommy knows more about the than here. the two of us put together. You don't say. Doesn't sound half bad. No. Young Billy, he's going to make a fine officer someday. It's a good crew, Joe. Not quite. No, I've got some shots of the picnic here now. Oh, Who's the bus boy? Face. He looks like he could handle himself in a fight. Mm -hmm. Always rough and ready, all right. But that's just what I need on this mission. <laughs> Real bruiser. After all, the Valna Raiders aren't what Send him to my room. sweet and gentle either, sir. Listen, Joe. We're asking you to set out on a dangerous assignment. We can't afford any unknown Damn, quantities out there. Do you know anything about this man's background? I just want to recruit this guy. In the worst way. I wasn't planning to adopt him. Joe, I like you. A lot. You're weird. Okay. If you think he's all right, then he's all yours. Oh, oh I'm in China. I'm in China. No. Oh, no. It's just a... <laughs> Red ball jets help you run faster and jump higher. Cool. Uh, Oh, I thought I was in an ST commercial. Oh, I see a bunny and a cloud and a blonde wig and a satin tap pant. A matching camisole. You do it right. Oh, another royalty check for Herb Alpert coming up. Excellent calf muscles there. Mm -hmm. I want your wig now. It's been 26 miles. It's only fun if I catch you. Wait up! <laughs> it's the tender song of love. Come on, it's my turn to wear the nightgown. We gun. gotta go, folks. Let's run. Rita. Rita, man. Try to understand. I did what I had to.
Okay, now Crow, I want yeah. you to be Ken, and okay. Tom, I want you to be Ken. Joel, I feel ridiculous. I'm dressed like Evil Knievel, only not so tasteful. Yeah, Joel, I, I don't want to cast aspersions on your little play acting idea. I, I don't want to be the dead squirrel under the floorboards of your hunting shack, but Ooh. this is the stupidest thing you've ever had to do yet. Come on, yeah, Joel, I... you've been nipping at the tester's glue or yeah. what here? Come on, Crown. I just thought it would be fun to play the handsome captain of the spaceship, okay? It's a lark, a spree. Run with me on this one. I promise I'll never make you do it again. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I'll give it a week. I'll have a six-foot foam scorpion stinger hanging off my butt. Come on, yeah, look, let's be... just get this over with, okay? Just come on, you guys. It'll be a guess. Okay, Cambot, help me out on this one. Okay. Neutral drive off. Engines to full. All okay. right, Ken. No. Cigar, Ken? Yeah. You know, no sense in me returning back home. Uh -huh. What with my wife and child gone. Oh, that's right. They took a laser bolt, didn't they? Too you bad. Know, cigar, Ken? You know, a young fellow, I could use a few of them on my ship. A young fellow could do a lot worse than throwing with the lot of Bacchus three. We might even become friends. I don't understand. What did I do to deserve this? We don't deserve half the things we get. <laughs> He's stuck here! Gee, Joel, don't vapor lock on us. It's just a little skit for crying out loud. Well, so I uh, brought the engines to neutral. Yeah, you do exactly as I say, and maybe you'll find out what it means to be a real man rather than just a wolf raider. Yeah, right, and you've got a good chance to end up at the Francis Farmer Motel. Oh, jeez, oh, oh. Joe, get a hold of Nobody yourself! Nobody hits one of my officers! Oh. 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 I think you broke my jaw. Oh, sorry about that. Jeez, Ouch. out of control. How symbolic. Are you on surveillance duty? Sorry I scared you. You looked so angry I was afraid I was going to get strangled. Well, there's still time for that. <laughs> Who's Rita? Your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, yes. yes. Can I cut your tongue? Shut up! Sorry. I'm just a little <laughs> tired. You know, Ken, I'm beginning to think you're not an earthling. Hmm? You haven't got the slightest idea how to talk to a girl. Honestly, I just wanted to say hello. You didn't have to bite my head off. Is that what I do? I don't feel like talking. And I don't like people meddling in my affairs. Oh, you don't? Well, have it your way. At Burger King? Hmm. This crew had better start learning to get along. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a difficult mission. Our next mission will take us to Vaholi in the 32nd holy, holy. constellation. However, before reaching our final destination... We all get hats, big we call ones. on Carraro, which has asked Scrambled the space eggs. agency for our assistance. As you may have heard, Carraro and Vaholi are at war, and recently the Wolf Raiders have joined forces with Vaholi. In other words, this will be no picnic. More like a small dinner well, party. What do you say? Do we a accept? Buffet. Sir, I'd rather go and fight and sit down here bored out of my mind. Captain. I think this is one mission where you're not going to need whiskey for excitement. <laughs> I'll need a stiff belt when I get back, though. Hey, you'll need a big belt. Mm. I've got baloney for arms! We're not going to take him along. Cool it, Danny. Hmm? But, Captain, who is he? I've made what my decision. What do we decision. know about him? Hmm? You can take it or leave it. Mm. Captain, I'm sorry. I'm sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> Captain, we accept your decision. Ken, welcome aboard. Are you sure you've got what it takes for the job? You bet we have. Don't press With your Captain luck. Captain Joe in charge, no mission is impossible. Well, time will tell. Monty Python's flying circus. Hey, the crew got free tanning sessions. Oh. Bite, Bite down. Bite down, please. Bite down, please. Bite down, please. Oh, oh don't bite down here. Now uh, bite me, please. Okay. Hey. What? <laughs> it's the goofiest ship in the cosmos. What, a Ma and Pa kettle going on this mission or something? <laughs> hey, there's <Whoa>. Don Knotts. <laughs> I've had a rebuilt from stem to stern. Neat, huh? To withstand the extreme velocities out there. I don't want to have another encounter like I had with the Wolf Raiders. I thought I was going to explode like a balloon. Shouldn't have had those I buffalo wings. I never <laughs> have to do anything <laughs> like that again, Captain. 
What are the specs on this job, sir? Oh, well, those are bugs. They'll wash off. We've added a power unit that can take us up to speeds of uh, Mach 5, 6 and over. Yeah, pretty much. Any more speed would tear us apart. Yeah. You know... Security guard? I'm really looking forward to flying <laughs> this like old devil. So am I. Joe. Hi, Harry. Hi, team gang. Are you really gonna Hi. take on that mission? Sure thing. You leave the milk runs to us. Well, you always were a daredevil. <laughs> By the way, is there any truth to that rumor? They say Rocky wants out of this mission. Again? If he feels like a change, I could sure use him. Hmm. Sounds like someone's overactive imagination. Rocky's accounted for. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. Right yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> you salty dog. Were they? Hmm? This is a strange development. Wheels everywhere. Using my superior strength to fight my own people. What is this, the Wonder Years? Sure, I'd love to liberate Balna Star from the Tyrant House. Let the air out of the Tyrant Crow. Families up there. And Lisa, hey. does she know I killed her brother? <gasps> Maybe. Will I ever be able to explain to her what really happened? And what about Good Naomi? Time. Will she love again? Hmm? Trains. Neat. Cool. Big ones. Screamers. That guy Rocky hates me. Can Captain Joe control him? Or not? Will Joe admit that Sue loves Mary? Hmm. Huh? Killdozer with Clint Walker, no! Oh, oh wow! No. Oh no! Eat fork, buddy! He thinks I'm a pallet! Uh, 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 well, fortunate for me, I ate some more spinach before I left the house, guys. <laughs> hey, come on, dim your brights, I can't see! Uh, uh, oh, you should know by now, pal. When you push a wolf raider, he pushes back. <laughs> This must be one of those Russian forklifts I've heard so much about lately. This is the song written for the train chase. This is the chase, Rocky and Ken. He tried to kill me with a forklift. Olay! Joe Mannix. Ba -da -da -da. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Rocky! Again! Well, that answers my question. What was the question? I thought you were a wolf raider. They planted you on our flight to sabotage our mission. Yeah, well, you're a wuss raider, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you high? I have the strength of 20 men. This is the song right after the train chase. This is the fight. Rocky and Ken. What's going on? Oh, nothing, sir. Uh, Captain! Pacing the freshman. <laughs> I told you, no grabass in Captain. the shower. I know who he is now. He's my mother. He's my sister. Hey. He's my mother and my hey, sister. Stop. He tried Try to, to kill, kill me with, with a forklift. <laughs> Rocky, how often do I have to tell you you should stop reading those science fiction novels? They're comic Wait, books! Captain. Tell him. I know Ken's a lot stronger than we are. There's a reasonable scientific explanation for that. You spend a lot of time in another constellation. Hmm. That increases strength. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're a liar. I don't believe you just like him. No. No. Don't expect any gratitude from me. Okay. I won't. Pa. Now you listen to this. Pull my finger. What I expect from you is total obedience. If that's okay with you. You know, you'll only continue to live as long as I shut up. I got a threat from the captain. Shut up. Cool. Wow. Amazing. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. God, that's so great. It's only a model. All right, spit out the and sunflower so seeds. Our valiant space adventurers prepare to embark on a perilous and exciting mission. Don't roll the ship, lose the building with Jerry Lewis, Charlie Kelsey, and Steve Franken. Meanwhile, on Valna Star, other plans are being made. Remember, Rita, it is our law. You may not return until the Brian Jones? Tell me, spirit, are these shadows of things which must be or which might be? 
Hey, look, 27 8 by 10 color glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and the paragraph on the back of each one. Why am I thinking of the cast party now? Oh, I like that one. Uh, Marianne. 53 bucks for the photos. Barbara. Whose hand is that? I can be Barbara. My baby. My wife. Whatever. I don't care anymore what happens to me out beyond the stars. Oh. If I don't survive. And we can be together again that much sooner. Oh, would yes. somebody turn the fryer light off I miss me? You so. Rest peacefully until then. It won't be long now. What a sap. What? Oh, I got the wrong grave. I'm sorry, Olga. Uh, that is. Oops. Oh, it's embarrassing. Uh, I gotta go paint a house now. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, I just about hey, said they're it having all. a jumpsuit party, and Kate is the grandest of all. Me. Thanks. You're a great crew. Ready to levitate well. the table? Hmm? To the mission. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm? Rocky, aren't you going to drink with us? Gonna fly now? Sir, I want you... In the worst way. To ...order me to go on this mission. I sure will. Rocky, I order you to pilot Bacchus Three. Yes, sir. I guess you're stuck with me at the controls. <laughs> Let's go for it then. You old space <laughs> <out>. <laughs> You pile of space crap. <laughs> this is yours. It has your initials on it. I made it in shop class just for you. It's the song of the space mouth. We'll drink to the brotherhood. Hello. Hey, Jack, can you drink it? Yes. Captain, it's for you. Fisher Price phone, sir. Oh, hello. What I'm about my cheeks, you wild right. Departure. Wait, Ten. they're having cocktails. Nine. Eight. Seven. Musketeers, six, sign in. Kirby. Five, four. Roy. Three, Jimmy. Two, Annette. One, Chad. Zero. <laughs> Looks like it's anything can happen Lift today, off. sir. Remember that the Musketeers and Mickey Mouse are registered trademarks of Disney Incorporated, Buena Vista Television, Touchstone Pictures, and the unlicensed distribution of any of these images that are not remotely resembling any Walt Disney images. They're closely forbidden by Disney, uh, Buena Vista, Touchstone, and uh, Michael Eisner. So, hey, watch out for the whoa. tower! And Ooh. so the reposition oh. Bacchus 3 blasted off for her next encounter with Destiny. This mission would be the most demanding the ship and her crew had ever been asked to endure. But first, this message. <laughs> Hardly presser, cabin presser, like an Arab they were. Captain Joe immediately tested the newly installed speed acceleration equipment. The Duck ship boy. was going to need all the speed she could get, and he had to know early on if the crew could take the pressure. I can't. My face goes all funny, sir. <laughs> That's quite a tick you got there, son. Let's loosen up with some butter gutters. Butter gutters, butter gutters, butter gutters, butter gutters. I can't stop. I don't know how it works. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. Tibet International. The white zone is for loading and unloading only. <laughs> Engine off. Engine off. Engine off. Doesn't it feel great to be back on the ground again? <laughs> oh, a trouser Rocky. cam. Hi there. He sent someone to meet us. Ken, release the gangway. Um, call okay. me Ken. Okay, Ken. Nice gangway. Is that the gangway? How much does a gangway? Beedy, 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 beedy. Welcome back. Oh, no, it's the planet of Tweakies. Oh, boy. What a nightmare. What could be worse? Hmm? That's a planet of Gallagher's. That's it's worse. melon crazy. That's no. worse. <laughs> Captain Joe. Moving kind of slow. Seems to know you. Captain Joe and one officer, follow me. Yes, sir. The rest wait here till you receive further orders. Okay. Doesn't sound too friendly. Can it, Rocky? Again, canning it, sir. I'm going to establish contact. Meanwhile, you wait here. Good idea. To keep it cool. We're going to be involved in very delicate negotiations. Uh, there's cold cuts in the fridge and some armor all in the glove box, and uh, keep out of the liquor cabinet. Bye. See you later. Get him, team gang. Get back. <laughs> I'm taking in the gangway. I'm Looks taking like in my little pants. Has anybody here got a deck of cards? They're supposed to be our allies. I was never welcomed anywhere like this before. Hmm. Summer in the black mountain hills out in the middle of some alien planet. <laughs> it's a funny. I think I 
think I look stupid? See my boss. Oh, this is nice. Comfortable. Nice ride. Look at it. Oh. Now they're big and they're in Mexico. Hmm? Come on. You guys wait here. I gotta go cash a check. Tap a kidney. Nice digs. <laughs> Welcome to the dance of incontinence. Hmm? I mean, seven continents. Oh. <laughs> kind of a. Yeah, uh, bathroom. Then I. Why are the garage doors all of a sudden? Ooh. Easy access? Say hello. hello. Hmm? Hmm. What is this strange feeling inside me? It's a voiceover called There's love. There's out there somewhere, and I want to be part of it. Yes, sir. That's my baby. Well, I think I'll do a little reconnaissance. See we a man were ordered to stay here. You can't leave the ship. Ken! Oh. Ken, go after what Ken. Hey, Billy, let's join him out there. Right. Stop or I'll shoot. Hey. Everybody run. Tammy's got we a gun. We have orders to wait here in this spacecraft. And that's exactly what we're going to do. She is management material. We have to stick together. Oh, come on, guys. Now I want to do what I want to do. Imperial Margarine presents... Conquistador. Conquistador. To try to kill me with a forklift. I That's felt this excitement Ole. when I was fighting with the wolf raiders. Hmm? Ooh, step, step on a crack, break your mother's back. <laughs> break your own back. Your mother was a saint, by the way. Yahoo! Top of the world, ma! <laughs> <laughs> Like he got his prescription filled. Yep. Bang, bang, bang. And he's reverting to childhood. Bang, bang. Uh, I'm sorry about Ken. They've had a hard time with him adjusting to school. They say he's gifted, though. Uh, Martino, thanks. I've had eight cups. Say, how much longer now? His Excellency will be with you shortly. I don't. I believe you said that two hours ago. I don't need this crap. <laughs> New from Chun King. Oh, great, a floor show. Ooh, is the great T.E. Lawrence going to join us now? Uh, we don't know if we should stand because we don't know if you're a man or a woman yet. Mm. I'm Captain Joe. This is Rocky, our right. first officer. Odenja, Lord of Kararu. <laughs> it's Dorf! <laughs> He's a guy we can sit on. Oh God, we on asked you to leave your planet and come and help us. Because of hostilities with the star Cesar. Romero. I don't understand. Why have they declared war on you? They want what we have. Mm -hmm. We have mineral resources Cesar is envious of. Cool. Rather than pay for them like everyone else, they think they can obtain them by force and violence. We used to laugh at Cesar. Now Unfortunately, bring me they've grown stronger. Pudding. Dangerously stronger. They've acquired a super weapon which could destroy our planet or possibly our whole constellation. Hmm. Hey, sounds like Jack Benny playing a violin. Hi. Indy, my friend Indy. Trumpy, you're stinky. Skin mittens. Now, Ken, honey, don't touch anything and stay close to mom. I'll just blend in with the crowd here. <laughs> A nun's habit for me? <laughs> no thanks, but you're sweet. I love the Renfest. Mm -hmm. Oh, they must have had a close out on Taffeta. Look at those guys. Hmm. Kids. <laughs> I was one once. Whoa. What's this? Looks like I made a little something in the deal. It's Say, fun. This gives me an idea. Hi. How you doing? See you later. Must be Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Carnival. Hey, a bar. Hey, Chris Walken's playing Russian roulette. Totally new concept. It's a church bar. Holy fuck. Hello. 
Uh, say, Brandy, fetch another round. We serve them whiskey and wine. <laughs> oh, this Midori is really good. <laughs> Boy, I don't like your face. No, I'm not it's a big fan good. either, sir. Get you got lost. a nice personality. I guess you're not from here. Otherwise, you'd know it's good manners to drink with friends. Here. I'd rather what? share a needle with Keith Richards. I told you to drink. Oh, Mom's going to smell careful. this on me. Doesn't he know I can kill him with one blow? <laughs> Some ego, buddy. Strangers aren't welcome. Going to be a fight. Fight, OK. Bye. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, where oh, are you going? Oh. Yes. Oh, to get a Band-Aid. Ow. My nose. It's a teacher. That's a problem with private school. Yeah, yeah, you get this. Uh, thank you, sir. May I have another? Yeah, I like you guys. There's one more. Well, looks like we've got three separate views of love American <laughs> stuff. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta. Crunch. <laughs> Bam. Buck. Biff. Happy. <laughs> yeah. no. Lay down the boogie and play that funky music till you die. Till you die? Next on Taxi, or Barney Miller, one of the two. What? Oh, he killed him with a curling iron. Ooh, Goodness. Just a gigolo. Get him! Yeah, get him. It's his turn to buy the pitcher. Oh. Oh, he stumbled back into the Renaissance Festival. Huzzah. There's a place on Mars where the women smoke cigars. <laughs> you looked in my bag, I'll have to kill it. Marion. Oh, suddenly it is this tower here. Oh. Hey, that's a dressing room. Where is he? I saw him going there. Come on. Indy. Oh, it's a woman's restroom. We can't go in there. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, you know. Sir, I think you're losing them. Tell a joke or juggle or something. Just a second. I'll be right back. What, did you say something to him while I was sleeping? What gives? Hmm. Hey, look, it's the All Ken Network. Look who's in trouble. What did he do? Killed a man just for snoring too loud. Who's ready for pudding, huh? The spacecraft during our negotiations. Hmm? That man was arrested in a storehouse for precious stones. Arrested? What was he doing in there? Your Excellency, if he left the ship, it was in direct violation of my orders. You ordered him to steal the stones. Oh, thanks no. for spitting that on fellow was new this to our crew. King? I'm afraid he doesn't take orders seriously. I ordered him to stay aboard. Then you don't mind if I cut off his head? Oh, that's why we brought him. Not at all. <laughs> Suit yourself. Huh? I tire of pudding. Bring me something Order salty and crunchy and sweet. <laughs> Where were we? Goofy land. We, uh, yeah. We're discussing the fee. That's right. Oh, uh, yes. Let me give you your down payment. My little bag. One. Little. Two. Little. Three. Little oh, Indians. <laughs> I love that one. Three. <laughs> it's Jimmy Carl Black, the Indian in the group. Oh, from the mothers. Oh. Yeah. It's Knox Black? Ooh. We'll collect the rest on completion. Of the Brooklyn Bridge? Hey, Sonny Rollins is out there. Uh, my helmet's chafing, Steve. You? Eagle, oh. quit playing that. Sure is quiet. Mm -hmm. Too quiet. That oboe's coming from that room. It's the Rite of Spring. Stravinsky? They let him have a chamber group in his cell? Uh, no, a chamber pot. Oh, it's a musical pot. Thanks for a little prelude, guys. Mm hmm. I've got a crazy star wolf idea that just might work. <laughs> His Mickey Mouse gloves give him incredible power. That's a trademark of one of the... Hmm? 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 
Spider-Man. Yeah, but not the new Spider-Man, the old Spider-Man when he had the good costume and when... It, oh. Huh? Oh, great. First day on a job, I lose a guy. Uh -huh. Come on, get down. This is no monkey cage. This is no disco. This ain't no fooling around. <laughs> I was just checking out the, the layout here. The cold moldings. Like you get a couple cobwebs and stuff. I can't find one. I'll make one. Cut the funny stuff. You've just been ordered executed. That ought to take the smile off your face. Not if you do it right. By the way, don't waste your energy. You can't get out of here. No earthling can. Earthling? Not even a wolf raider could break out of this place. Is that so? We'll see about that. Meanwhile, back at the cool ship. Captain, anyone can make a mistake. Just as long as you don't keep on repeating it. I think we should get rid of Ken. Which one? I disagree. Hmm? Have you already forgotten? Ken saved our lives. I think he deserves another chance. Conviction. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay. Man of firm conviction. I guess you're right. I'll take him back on one condition. You stop drinking Sir? and start going to meetings. As a Cesar officer in that jail. Mm. Mm. You think Ken can help him break out of there? Mm. Let's go to it. Establish contact with Ken's secret radio on the double. Now, yes, you guys sir. go ahead. I'm sick. I'll just stay here and, uh, you know, go through that. I wish I had a harmonica. Hmm? Cleveland, you're on the air. Ken, can you hear me? It's me. Man, I really miss you, dude. We haven't talked since high school. What's How going you on? You told me about this cute little gadget. You don't have to know everything. <laughs> What's romance I without a little sure surprise? Double cross us. And I guess I've passed your examination, haven't I? Now what do you want me to do? Listen uh, carefully. Turn there's your no head and cough. Ken, there's a Cesar officer in your jail. We need him as camouflage when we move on to Cesar. <laughs> they won't suspect anything if we show up with one yeah, of their like officers. <laughs> we want you to contact that officer. Get him and yourself out of the prison. Why don't you just ask the Kararan authorities to release us? Well, if you're uh, so smart, why are you in jail? Yeah. Five minutes, and they got suspicious. If I say I want to take him to Cesar, chances are they'll think I've joined forces with their mortal enemies. Are you sure I can find him and get him out of this prison? Sure, Ken. I have complete confidence you can bring it off. Of course, I'm Somebody's drunk. Coming. And I'm sure the other inmates haven't heard a word of this. We're just sleeping. <laughs> Works every time. He's gone now. Meet. Listen, sir. Aren't the Kararans likely to suspect you if I break out of here? Kararans can suspect anything they want, as long as I can get off this planet with. And he's got the gems in his cheeks. Only, how am I supposed to get out of this prison cell? Those bars are as strong as tree trunks. <laughs> Here's how I escape. Oh, oh. Is Star Wolf suddenly going soft? Just give me my orders. Soft Wolf. You'll find you've got some clever little items with you. Go on. Okay. Now I want you to listen carefully. All right, I'm using a I split you. screen. Can you Fine. see me now? It's the Patty Duke show. Now take a good look at your far right shoulder button. Ah, made you look. <laughs> equipped it with a miniature nuclear device. You'll Shouldn't find the ignition I have on known the reverse that? Side. Works a little like a grenade. Neat. Whatever you want to blow up, attach it to it. Mm. Are any more of these buttons grenades? Check your lapel. Now you see how much I trust you. It's genuine Thanks. mother of pearl there. Now then, what happens if I don't find this Cesar officer? Ah, you we will. blow your neck off. Well, you because you have to. Let's blow ours. They don't bring away. You off, I'm abandoning you here. Look, don't you think this is an awfully tall order? Hmm. Ken, I know you can handle it. Joel, doggone it, this film has me bamboozled. Yeah, think about it. We've got this guy who used to wear a wig but doesn't anymore, who's joined up with Captain Gerbil and the Leatherette Squad, and everybody's having more flashbacks than Bruce Dern in the trip. Yeah, oh. and now he's held captive by Don Ho and a kid who drinks Tranya, and who's fighting who and why? And why are all these alien transvestites attacking Earth anyway? And what about this Japanese preoccupation with the name Ken? Okay, okay, you guys, take it easy. I knew you were going to have a problem with this movie, but that's what I'm here for, okay? okay. The real problem with this film is it's not really a movie at all. It's just a bunch of Japanese TV shows strung together to look like a movie. So that's what's going on. So it's yeah. like Bergman's scenes from a marriage, then. Exactly. 
Huh? Oh, oh or uh, Schwartz is a very Brady Christmas. Now just yeah, listen up, you two. You just might learn something. Oh, this is the screenplay model developed by Sid Field in his runaway bestseller book, Screenplay. Oh. Here's how it works. Cambot, help me out here. The first act establishes setting, uh -huh. and the major characters will get to know. And then the first plot point comes along and sends it all up, ah. zigging everywhere and into another direction. So, oh. can anybody give me an example? of what that would be in today's movie. Ah, uh, oh, um, uh, in the credits. No, Carl, come on. Oh, 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 I know, I know. It's when Mephisto and the blonde chick with the, th 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 oh, I'm just grabbing at straws here, Joel. No, everybody, it's when Ken joins Star Force and goes up against his old allies. Uh, which Ken? Oh, the one with the wig, right? Oh. Right. Yeah. Now in act okay. two, we reveal the conflict in the film, does anybody know what that is? Take a leap, Crow. Oh, uh, let's see. It's either the credits or, uh, 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 well, it's uh, when Ken in the wig fights his own inner struggle, uh, which is punctuated with his conflict with the other crew members and his shaky alliance with Captain Cheeky, who drinks a lot, uh, by the way. And, oh, that's the subplot. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Crow. Okay, that's act two. Now, given these pieces of the puzzle, does anybody know how plot point two will turn out? Oh, 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 that's easy. Scout sees Atticus Finn shoot the dog in the street, which shows that he has the capacity... Oh, no, that's to kill a mockingbird. I'm right. confused. I'll jump in here. Okay. okay, let's just imagine that the blonde assassin comes in and, and shows her love for Ken, her undying love for Ken, and instead uh -huh. of uh, serving two masters, yeah. they uh, die in a Harry Carey love pact. What do you think? No, come on, Joel. This is Sandy Frank, not Kurosawa. For oh, well, out. my that's guess funny. is that it goes on like the mess it is with uh, no resolution, and we're all left feeling empty and unfulfilled like uh, Fast Finder's tragic heroine, uh, Berlin Alexander Plot. You, my yeah. friend, get a ram chip. Ah. Get here. All right. What do you think, sir? Uh, well, uh, William Gold, Joel, we, we have a theory. Uh, you know, Toni Morrison, best known for her literary tour de force beloved, May well be one of the fastest riders. Time up, Frank. And where do I take him? Oh, Jack when I get him Perkins. Out of here? Boy. Not back to the spaceship. Signal us when you're clear. <laughs> Over and out. Shoulder Bar phone off. off. When I talk to Ken, I touch myself. <laughs> hmm? What's that? Meat. I heard a noise. That's you. Someone's talking. coming. Mmm, horses. Twelve, thirteen, maybe. The coast is clear. But the tide is out. Open channel D. Blooming ground flower. Light, then get away with loud report. Ooh. <laughs> a hot knife through butter. Hi, Kiba. Eat it, Joe's. 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 Merry Xmas. Eat it, Joe's. Now this is a little something just for moi. I think Ken's making a little too much out of this. They're just Christmas lights for crying yeah. out loud. Something to do. Oh, mm, well. Kissing monster, kissing monster. Ooh. Nice dive. So much for those lights. Those dreams. <laughs> yeah. Why? These look like bars. Hmm. It's a bus boy. Hey, can you clear my table? Hey. hey. It's ho, not hey. A lot of people get confused. You the Cesar officer? I've heard so much yes. about Do you like me? Do you find me pleasing? <laughs> and I gather you're the earthling who was captured earlier today. I've heard some of them talk about How did you lately? get out of your cell? Just a little good luck. You escaped. No, I'm still oh. here. Would you come on? Listen, do you want to know a secret? We've got no time to lose. Okay. Okay, do you want some fries with that then, sir? Oh, 
He's not a cesarean ah. officer. He's an Arby's trainee. The Kararans must have anesthetized me before they put me in my cell. Neat. I have no idea where I am in here. Can you guide me if I get you out? Yes. I've been locked up in this miserable place for the last two months. Aww. On my way to the courtyard for exercise, I've memorized every corridor. That's great. You look great. You're not afraid, are you? Can I trust you? You can. Just get me out of here. I will. Move away. Someplace nice, like the Hamptons. <laughs> See, it's a tiny time pill. <laughs> what manner of men are you who can summon flame without flint or tinder? Some call me Ken. Oh, it's neat. You can buy these things in North Dakota and Wisconsin. I buy them by the brick, by the gross. They're not like black cats and stuff. <laughs> well, some some locks are two bomb locks. <laughs> I just tried again. Huh? Not like that. You gotta put it on two bars. Oh, yeah. Nice. Suddenly you're the explosive button expert, right? Mm -hmm. Alexander Salkin presents. Stupid boy. Yeah, in color. Who's that? Uh... Alakazam. Mm. Yeah, Rubbermaid bars. Neat. I've never seen anyone as strong as you are. Sepchina Easter. Hurry. Come on, let's get out of here. Where to? To the top. Hooray! There's only one way out. Listen, the door's locked on the outside. Mm -hmm. What's on the other side? Two Karan guards. In paradise. Heavily armed. Hmm. Okay, here's what we do. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> 30. The holy whore hurt myself. hurting Somebody help me. What's going on? Uh-oh. <laughs> What? Good work. Let's go. Oh. It's Boots Randall. Oh, it's Bootsy Collins. Oh. I you die, Joe. We'll have to fight it out. Well, what do you think I we're doing? Yeah. Next time I say, let's go to Bolivia, let's go! Yeah. Not me, you idiot! Oh. <laughs> Kick, fighting rhubarb, fighting rhubarb, come on, shooting rhubarb, oh, fighting, oh, tumbling, killing, dying, oh, 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 it's okay, friend. Right in the back, oh, that hurt for me, oh, I'm breaking rhubarb. Come on, give me one of those! No, not one of those! Thank you. You really picked those two up easily. Oh, I'm not a bad shot. Watch this. Oh, that was a thrill kill. Mm. Easy oh, shot. Duck Better alarm, run. Quick. Well, we got an extra point on that. This way. Salty. It's gray water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> Delicious. things really work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta remember to take them off before you take your clothes to the laundry. Oh, oh yeah. Blow up a dry cleaner. Oh, this was a good plan, wasn't it? Oops. All right, come on in. Bring it down. Oh, little right, little right. Oh, there you go. Watch mm -hmm. your space cushion. <laughs> it's a little driving joke. Bring it down. Keep going. Come on, come on. No, I'm sorry you failed your test. You'll have to come back in two weeks. 
Happens most of the guys. This is Joe. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Just got back from Kokomo. Please advise me of your position. Ken? Ken? Can you hear me? Ken, please come in. Ready? I love Ken and a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. I'm in love with a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. I'm in love with a guy named Ken and it hurts me so. Hurts me so. Ken Moses? I don't Peter. think so. Meet him, Hade. Where would I be without you? Hmm? I'm seeing things. No, you're seeing me. Is that what I am to this you? Must a be thing? Your with that hair, it must be. <gasps> Rita! Rita, man. What are you doing here? I've been trying to track you down for days. We got a radio message that you'd broken out of a Kararu jail. Hmm? They said you were a traitor. And here you are in an Earth Space Command uniform. Traiting? I was forced to wear this uniform. They said they'd kill me otherwise. Mm -hmm. A likely story. I don't know what's come over you, Ken. I want my tapes back. You've turned traitor. Abandoned me and killed my brother. It was an accident. Oh, okay. He was getting ready to shoot a little boy whose name also happened to be Ken. I was just trying to stop him. Hmm. Ken! Uh, we'll just run the clip. Don't shoot! <laughs> oh, come on. We're intimate with this scene for crying out loud. That's what really happened, Rita. I swear I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not a traitor to our country. You know that. I simply refused to kill an innocent child. And I didn't want to fight with your brother. So I killed him. I believe you. You can't betray a country you never belonged to. Hmm? Ken, you once told me your father came to Valna as a missionary. Oh, that you bag. Never I thought they cleared that up in You're counseling. really an earthling. Go on. Go on. Murder me in cold blood if you want to. You deserve worse. Hmm? To die a slow death. Then what are you waiting for? I know Valna law as well as you do. I caused your brother's death, and now you've been sent out to kill me. Well, I'm all ready to die, Rita. Ken. You'd be doing me a favor. I can't live in dishonor. Go ahead, shoot! But first, swallow my lapel button. <laughs> As a symbol of our love, hmm? Shoot him down. Shoot to kill. Stinker. Fuck fever. Oh, it's made out of electrician's tape. You're crying Come out on, loud. Get it over with. What's the point of living if the girl I love more than life itself thinks that I'm a traitor? Now. Hey, you know, this is just like Richard III. It sure is. You won't do it. It took me seven days to get this gun. Now I can't Rita. use it. Damn. As you see, there was a dam in the background. That peasant blouse is all wrong on Rita. her. I can't do it. I can't kill the man I love. Then kill the one you're with. Hmm? Oh, my foot! Oh, boy, I'm having such a crappy day. Rita. Rita, Rita made. made. Where's her in tear again? My darling. Ken. I'm gonna have to remember that line for the bars. It works. <laughs> uh, um, you're, you're crying on my bomb. Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. Rita. Oh, 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 get oh. off the milk to tilt the world. Oh, oh. oh it's over. Well, that was great. What happens to us now? Are we both just fugitives in space? Hmm? Mm -hmm. No matter what you and I say or do, they'll never let us go home. Valna, I'd love to see it again. What do we need Valna for? We've got each other. We can start a new life somewhere else. On a slag Rita, heap? It won't work. They'll never leave us in peace, you know that. How can you say that? If we keep loving each other, we'll find a way. Boy, you are not. How long can that love last? You know what you'll see every morning when you wake up? Hmm? You'll be staring straight at the man who killed your brother. Will you be there too? Ken. It won't work, Rita. Too much has already happened to us. Hmm. Soon we'd start hating each other. What I won't let you? you talk like that. It just won't work. Why didn't you kill me before? Oh. What? You heard. Kill me and get it over with. Come on, chicken. You chicken. Come on, kill me. Come on, chicken. I wonder what he's thinking. Ditcher! Go! <laughs> <run>. <laughs> Blue 
are going to die. I am going Ken? to kill you. Killed the tree. Rita, meet her, man. Rita, are you all right? I uh, killed your other brothers, by the way. Ken, traitor. Hmm? It was you who fired that shot. It was you. Wait, let me explain. Oh, Rita, darn. The most important part of me just died, too. Well, at least he gets to keep that swell Star Trek stuff. Well, honey, looks like I'm gonna have to gut ya. <laughs> oh. That's it? Make it look like a robbery. I heard gunfire! Are you alright? Where have you Fine. been? The others are dead. Hmm? Who's she? What happened to her? A Carreran girl what got caught in the crossfire. Hmm, bummer. It's late. We better get going. There's nothing we can do here. But I'm thirsty again. Would you get off. going? Goodbye, Rita. Goodbye. Come back. I'm not dead. You didn't check for a pulse. <sighs> Next time on Twin Peaks. Is it help, Ken? I got you. Hey. <laughs> Come here, you. Come on. Let him go. <laughs> Drop him. Would you take those rocks out of your pockets? Rock climbing, Joel. Rock climbing. Yeah. Rock. Hmm? Cesar Romero? Edmund Hillary? Oh, they're down there. Jump for it. New from the Franklin Mint. Oh, sending him a message. He's saying, hey, my emblem came off. Ken and his friend are free. They're free to be. Ken and his friend are free. They're free to be you and me. I'm blind, I'm blind, help me. Take a picture of us, we're posing! That's last longer. Ken! Nice teeth. Captain Ken made it! Captain Ken made it? What about the mm -hmm. Cesar officer? He's there too! I knew he'd pull it off. Well, let's break out the liquor. Oh, I drank it all. Ken, you Ken did it! Ken! Good work, son. I Welcome was so back, Ken. I'm worried about you. Oh, Ken! <clears throat> Let me introduce Ken. myself. I'm a man of wealth Colonel and taste. Sir? Welcome, Colonel. I'm Captain Joe. Welcome aboard. This is my fleet of Elvis impersonators. Yes, sir. Join me for up all night. We'll see movies. Bacchus 3 will be back in Sweet Sweetback's badass song. The movie. Bye. I wet him. Goodbye to Rita, Star Trek stars, and it's out of focus. In my pocket, it will stay. Oh, no, to be going. continued. Ah, oh, oh, no. Oh, get us out of here, Joel. Oh. <laughs> what a Well, this one over here dispatches uh -huh. a special aquatic version of Greenpeace's Rainbow Warriors to go out Ooh. and do battle against the man. Heavy. Rave on, Joel. Hype it up, buddy. Whoa. Right. Well, this one over here, well, heaven forbid the robot that may try to touch this button or even brush against it, for that robot would become my personal slave. We are no not ready. robot can venture too far out of the ship. Especially if such a robot were to disguise his true identity from me in the form of Featherin, 
Where? For, heaven help Where? that poor robot Where? that may try that. Really? Uh, let me try. Get away, <clears throat> okay, bro. here we go. No, no, that would be an abomination oh. to all robots everywhere. Well, what's that other one do? This is, is portion control. Uh, Next question. Oh, okay, how about that one? This no, does any one. number of phantasmagorical and wondrous things, the most benign being that Tommy Jeffries, who lives in Belize and dad works on an oil derrick, gets a tasty pudding snack. What, what a rush. rush. That Joel Robinson is one bad Shut your mouth. I was talking about Joel. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> anyway, we've got a letter here from David A.D. Cordoba. Way to go, kid. Thanks, Mr. Crow. And he <laughs> writes in to answer to the question of what is the cool thing that we oh, did a while yeah. back. Yeah. And he writes, let's put this up on Still Store. He writes, Dear Gentlemen and Gypsy, concerning the cool gypsy, thing, cool thing uh, my guess is that you saw a time portal floating in space, taking into account that overall the crew is against imperialism, jingoism, church state is one, fascism, exploitation, racism, in short, all those ideals held dear by our world leaders here on Earth. I'd venture to say this time portal showed mankind living in peace. Well, we're sorry, David A. D. Cordoba from Seattle, Washington, but this was the cool thing. Mexican stoplight candy. Oh, what a burn. What do you think, sirs? Now this to me is good TV, being genetically altered on cable television. Ann Dillard will be out to discuss her, her new book, and then later on, Topol, that robust star of Fiddler on the Roof will be out. Frank, why are we off the air? Oh, I thought it was time to push the button. Besides, don't you want to get started uh, genetically altering Jack Perkins? Look, we don't go off until I say we go off. Now, run down to the storeroom and get that spare head. I've got a mad posh to give Jack Perkins the head of Vivian Vance. Sorry, Sarge. Ah, uh, Vivian Vance. Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> You're stuck here.